We came to the end of the Market of Hope and we had um, some dried beans that we were giving out to widows and they were coming forward and taking scarves off their heads and laying them down and we would pour beans into the scarf and they would gather it up and go on their way. And one woman took this very, very tattered scarf from her head and it had a hole about the size of a quarter in it. And as we poured the beans in, when she went to gather it up and pick it up, before she could get it up off the ground and put her hand over the hole, about 20, 25 beans spilled out of this hole. And as she walked on her way with her beans, several women rushed forward and fell on their knees and gathered up these beans and held them like they were diamonds. And I felt God just ask me to recognize just recognize what was going on. When we were in Uganda, we were able to distribute some of the mosquito nets and that was really exciting because when some of the mosquito nets that we were taking away had holes in them, malaria is obviously a pretty big issue. And so being able to give that to them was exciting. The dedication of house number four, um, we actually were there when they were still in the progress of building the house number four and they finally finished it towards the end of the trip while we were there. It was cool to see the new house being built and it was being furnished and there is more room. The houses were all overcrowded from the ones that they had so the kids will now have more room and have beds to stay in and the house number four is now called um, LBC House. It was heartwarming to know that providing something through Market of Hope really did get to where it was intended. You provide money, but do you really know where it goes? And in this case, you did see that the money that we provided with the for Market of Hope really did have an effect. It really didn't end up to where it was intended, and it did have a big effect on people's lives. Mm -hmm.